If you recall, the GEC's system's split feature allows two students to work together at the same workstation. Group mode, on the other hand, is used when you want students at different workstations to work together. In this mode, you are able to define groups of two or more student workstations so that they can collaborate on projects, share ideas, or help each other with assignments. Each student in the group hears his or her own instrument and microphone, as well as the other members of the group. Similar to lecture and practice mode, you, the teacher, are able to eavesdrop on any of the groups and have the ability to establish two-way communication. First, let's look at defining groups. To assign a group, make sure that you are first in group mode and that you are in the play tab at the bottom left of your touch screen. Above each student station, you will see a text graphic that reads off. Touch this graphic to bring up a numeric list. Here you can assign each student station to a group, 1 through 16, or choose group off if you do not want a student assigned to a group. Continue in this manner until all of your students have been grouped as you see fit. The GEC also gives you the ability to load previously saved group configurations. At the top right hand corner of the touchscreen, you will see a small drop down arrow. Touch that arrow to access the load group screen. The GEC has two preset group configurations, Duet and Quartet. If you select Duet, the GEC will automatically group student 1 and 2 together, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, etc. Quartet will group students in fours, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, etc. Config one through four are user-defined groups that can be edited and saved to your liking. Now, let's go over how to save your group configurations. Once you have assigned your students to a group, it is easy to save your configuration for later use and load a configuration that you have previously saved. To save a configuration, make sure that you are in the Setup tab at the bottom of the touchscreen. Touch the small drop-down arrow in the top right-hand side of your screen to bring up the Save Load menu. You will see the option, Save Config As. Select this option to save your current group configuration. It is also possible to rename your configuration so that it is easier for you to organize. To do this, use the same menu and select Rename Config. Use the QWERTY keypad to rename your configuration accordingly. It is just as easy to load a previously saved configuration. Using the same menu, select the configuration you wish to load and select Load Config. As a side note, you can also edit the names of your students on this screen simply by touching their names on each station with your finger and using the QWERTY keypad to make your changes. If you wish to eavesdrop on a group, simply touch any one of the students in a particular group on your touch screen. Make sure that you are in the Play tab to do this. At this point, you will be able to hear all members of that particular student's group. To stop eavesdropping, simply press the Group button on the front panel of your GEC, or you can eavesdrop on another group by selecting a different student. 
To establish two-way communication with a group, touch a student's name twice. You will see a microphone graphic indicating that the connection has been made. To end your connection, press the group button on the front panel of the GEC. That was group mode. Next, I will be showing you how to customize your classroom using the GEC.